This video is dedicated to Sean Locke, one of my favourite comedians who's recently passed away. I will tell you all about melanoma and how to prevent it. So what is a melanoma? How common is it and who does it affect? Melanoma, also known as malignant melanoma, is the most serious type of skin cancer that can spread to other organs in the body. It can affect any age group but half of the cases occur in those over the age of 65 years. It can also affect young adults as in the case of Sean Locke. In the UK it's the fifth most common cancer and second most common cancer in under 50s. Out of 100,000 people, around 20 will get diagnosed with a melanoma. It's 20 times more common in Caucasians. People with darker skin are less affected because they have more protective melanin in their skin. More than 2,000 people die every year in the UK from melanoma. So what causes melanomas? The main risk factor for developing melanoma is exposure to UV or ultraviolet radiation through natural sunlight, artificial sunbeds or sun lamps. The UV radiation causes your skin cell DNA to become damaged and this causes the skin cells to grow abnormally leading to a melanoma. There are two main types of UV rays that can damage skin and cause skin cancer. UVB which causes sunburns and UVA which is mainly involved in the aging of the skin. Now obviously a small amount of sunshine is very important for our bodies because it's a good source of vitamin D and it's also good for our mental health. The vitamin D helps strengthen our muscles, teeth and bones. However if you have too much exposure to the sun for example when on holiday and get sunburnt then this increases the risk of melanoma in the future. Children who've had severe sunburn are at more risk of developing melanoma as adults and that's why it is very very important to use sunscreen. There are some risk factors however that we have no control over that may increase your chances of developing melanoma. For example if you have lots of freckles or moles, if your skin is pale and gets sunburnt easily, if you have red or blonde hair, if you have a weakened immune system for example after an organ transplant and you're also at an increased risk if a close family member has had melanoma. So what are the signs of a melanoma? Melanomas usually grow over a few months from fresh skin anywhere on your body, but sometimes old moles can also change into melanomas. For men, melanomas usually grow on the chest or back, and for women, it's usually on their legs. Here are some examples comparing melanomas to moles. It's important to be aware that melanomas don't look exactly as they're supposed to in these images and there's loads of different variations. That's why if you're ever worried about a lesion on your skin it's always better to get it checked out by a doctor. Melanomas can spread or metastasize to other parts of your body and that's why they're also called malignant melanomas. As with other cancers, the more it's spread, the harder it is to treat. So if you are unsure about a mole or a growth on your skin then please do see a doctor. There are also other types of skin cancers such as squamous cell carcinoma and basal cell carcinomas. I will do a video separately on each of these in the future. You may also be interested to know other celebrities also affected by melanoma include actor Hugh Jackman, one of Australia's most famous actors, Khloe Kardashian, an American media personality, socialite and model, actor Ewan McGregor, Bob Marley, who was a Jamaican singer, songwriter and musician. Caitlyn Jenner, an American media personality and socialite. Now how is a melanoma diagnosed? Many melanomas are difficult to diagnose with the naked eye. There is a checklist that doctors use to decide whether a mole is suspicious and requires specialist input. You can also follow this checklist. So here it is. A, B, C, D, E. And that's the rule that you should be using when assessing a mole. So you look at A, the asymmetry of a mole. So it's not circle or oval. You look at B, the border irregularity. So instead of having a smooth outline, it's usually irregular. C stands for colour and the colour is usually uneven instead of one colour all over the mole. D stands for diameter, so if a mole is more than 6 millimetres then it's at increased risk. E stands for evolving mole, so an existing mole becoming red, oozing or crusting or starts feeling odd or itchy. E also stands for expert and that reminds you to see an expert if you're worried. Doctors have a special magnifying scope called the dermatoscope that they can use to assess a mole more accurately. If they are concerned at all they will refer you to a dermatologist who is a skin specialist for an excisional biopsy which means the mole will be cut out and sent to a lab who then will be able to confirm if it's anything serious like a melanoma. The excisional biopsy will be looked at closely under a microscope and the doctor will be able to determine if all the cancer cells have been removed. 
If the doctor is confident that it's all been removed, then there's nothing else that needs to be done apart from just monitoring it. However, if there's any doubt that there is some cancer left behind, then a second operation called a wide local excision is advised. This means the doctor will remove the skin that surrounded the mole to make sure that there's no cancer cells left behind. If your doctor feels that the melanoma may have spread, then further staging will be required. This can involve a more in-depth physical examination by a doctor, a lymph node biopsy, also known as a sentinel node biopsy, and further scans. So how do you treat a melanoma? Well, if a melanoma is diagnosed and an excisional biopsy is done at an early stage, then there may be nothing else that needs to be done apart from closely monitoring it for reoccurrence. However, if the melanoma is diagnosed late and has already started to spread, then it can be difficult to treat. Bear in mind, there was no effective treatments for melanoma up until 2011. Since then, there are new treatments called biologics or monoclonal antibodies. The aims of these treatments is to slow the spread of the cancer and reduce the symptoms. You might be wondering, what's the prognosis or the outlook of melanomas? Well, three out of four people who've had a melanoma removed will have no further problems. However, if the melanoma has metastasized, meaning spread, then the prognosis can vary depending on what stage it's at. The more advanced the stage, the poorer the prognosis. However, treatment slows down its progression. If you've had a melanoma, then there is a chance that it may reoccur, hence the importance of closely monitoring it. Now comes the most important bit. Can melanoma be prevented? Well, not always. However, you can take measures to greatly reduce your chances of developing it. Here are some tips to prevent it. Number one, use sunscreen. And I can't emphasize this enough use sunscreen and dress sensibly so you don't get sunburnt. Number two, stay in the shade between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. when the sun is at its peak. Number three, never use sunbeds or sun lamps. And number four, check your skin regularly as an early diagnosis is easily treatable. These tips are even more important for children and teens. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this information valuable please consider subscribing and hitting the notification icon so you don't miss out on my future videos. Also, like and share the video with your family and friends so that they are aware of how to prevent melanomas and how to identify it early. You may help save a life by passing them this information. I am a full-time doctor and my aim is to provide you with knowledge which can improve and sometimes even save lives. If you have any suggestions for future videos, then please leave a comment below. All the best guys, look after yourselves, stay healthy, use a lot of sunscreen, and remember, knowledge saves lives.